The question is what is the remainder when x is divided by 7? Look at statement 1 here. This means 4x is equal to 14m plus 6 where m is a positive integer. Divide the entire equation by 2. You get 2x is equal to 7m plus 3. 2x is leaving a remainder of 3. Many students will think that statement 1 is not sufficient because we know the remainder of 2x with 7, not of x with 7. But think deeply, x is equal to 3.5m plus 1.5. That means m can take only odd values. See, 2x is even. The sum has to be even therefore. And therefore, m must be odd. Odd plus odd would be even. So we can have only alternate values of m. So before concluding that, Statement 1 is not sufficient. You must give it a fair try. Put odd values of m for m is equal to 1. 2x becomes 7 plus 3, 10. x becomes 5. And the remainder 5 with 7 is 5. For 3, 2x would be 21 plus 3, 24. x would be 12. 12 with 7, the remainder you see again is 5. For 5, 2x is equal to 35 plus 3, 38 x is 19. 19 with 7, the remainder is again 5. Take a big value, say m is equal to 11. 7 into 11 plus 3, 80. 2x is equal to 80. x is equal to 40. And 40 with 7, the remainder is 5 again. So see, every time you're getting 5, statement 1 is very much sufficient. Look at statement 2. This means 3x is equal to 21n plus 15 where n is a positive integer, divide the entire equation by 3, we get x is equal to 7n plus 5. x is 7 times a positive integer plus 5. And therefore, x when divided by 7 will leave a remainder of 7n plus 5 is what we have here. 7n will leave remainder 0. 5 will leave remainder 0. Sorry, 5 will leave remainder 5. 0 plus 5, the remainder is 5. So statement 2 quite easily suggests that the remainder is going to be 5 every time. 1 is sufficient, 2 is sufficient. D is the right answer. This is a difficult one.